Welcome to another fishing video. This time we'll explore some fishing spots around uh, Nelson and the uh, Tasman region here. We'll do two videos, one for Nelson in the urban area around Nelson and then we'll do a second video for Motueka, Kakeri, Terry and so on. I've got my book here. I had this for probably over 10 years. It's called Fishing New Zealand uh, by Spot X and it's got you know fishing spots. Uh, for land-based fishing and for boat fishing all over New Zealand listed in here and we use this book today uh, to check out some of those fishing spots. Those are all the land-based fishing spots around Nelson. One part on this area of Nelson here and then we're going to do another part on the west side of Nelson including Motueka. We're going to get started with it. We'll drive to these fishing spots, do a bit of filming and uh, check out how good they are, are they actually worth it? Let's get going! Hey everybody, so today we came out to Cable Bay near Nelson. That's a really nice area for kayak fishing. At the moment it's low tide, so there's a big estuary on the right hand side that goes around Pepin Island. Um, here's a marine reserve in this area. If you look out from Cable Bay, on the left hand side is a marine reserve. You can launch your kayak and fish on the right hand side, which has been really good for me. There's some good snapper around here. I've also caught a few um, squid in December and uh, blue cod as well. So today I went out in the kayak and caught some huge snapper. So that was actually really good. Three kilos. Eight over five kilos. So yeah, I didn't expect anything. And here we go, a two nice big snapper. Alright, uh, uh, so today we'll check out Boulder Bank and in my book here it says target species snapper and carvey and uh, the best months would be from spring to autumn. Uh, you can surf cast with a ledger rig and a spoon sinker and best around dawn and dusk. So we'll have a look and check this out today. Uh, here's Nelson, so we just drive up the road towards uh, Picton and Blenheim and then we'll turn left towards the Boulder Bank Reserve and have a look. So we are now arrived at the Boulder Bank one of the uh, Nelson shore-based fishing spots here. We just wanted to have a look. It's a little bit too windy today to do any fishing. But as you can see, this is the fishing spot. We drove to the end of this uh, gravel road. I think the best would be to set up uh, and surf cast out here from the Boulder Bank. I suspect there's a nice uh, deeper water surf casting range. It would also be a good spot for launching a kayak uh, from what I can see here. next fishing spot is just right by the harbor here and let's have a look what six is Nelson Wharfs. It's basically a drive right back to the city center and there are actually three fishing spots pretty close to each other. There's number four uh, the Blind Channel, Rocks Road and Nelson Wharfs. So we'll just have a stop at each one of those and have a quick look what, what the situation is. This road is a fishing spot. So guys, looks like we found the uh, Nelson Harbor fishing spot. Turns out last time we went to the uh, wrong area and uh, today we found the uh, proper area. There are actually uh, rod holders up there and uh, a parking spot. Uh, looks pretty good. So this is, a, this is the proper fishing spot at the Nelson Harbor. Number 
five in my book is called Rocks Road. And uh, we're here at the wharf now, so it's just the next spot down the road, Rocks Road. Let's have a look. But it's somewhat to target some kingfish, snapper, and narwhal on this platform, I think. And uh, everything is quite handy and easy to use. Uh, parking right next to that platform as well. So here's the kind of the entrance out right towards the boulder bank. There's a lot of uh, water coming in and out. There's also uh, the boat ramp of that yard club, which would be good to launch a small kayak or dinghy just out from there. Uh, I quite like it, it looks pretty good. Next spot is called Blind Channel and it's at the Tahuna Nui Beach. It's close here at 10.30. So not a good spot for night fishing. We just arrived at our next fishing spot, uh, Blind Channel. Still right in the uh, Nelson urban area at the Tahuna Nui beach. And as you can see, you can park right next to the channel, so it's pretty easy access. It's a good spot to catch Garway, Snapper and Gurnard for bait fishing, pilchard, squid and skipjack, standard stuff as always. And um, it's pretty much all tight. Over there, this is Rabbit Island out in the distance. A channel that leads into that large estuary and that would bring in a lot of food and a lot of fish with the in and out going tides. As most uh, fishing spots around Nelson, the high tide seems to be uh, the go because the water is pretty shallow. So you want to have a little bit of water uh, coming in and out. So before and after high tide when the current is running would be a really good spot to catch kawai, uh, kingfish and snapper as well in summer. Have a look, uh, we'll have a quick look around the beach here. What it looks like. Nice uh, beach to set up a surf caster uh, just here. Bring a beach spike. Let's cast out into this channel here. It's really good to me. Nice fishing spot, light channel. The only thing with this spot is this is also a popular kite surfing spot just around the corner here, which means this spot gets a lot of wind. Pick the right day so you're not uh, exposed to too much wind when you're fishing. Guys, we're at Rabbit Island now at the beach. Pretty busy here, but it looks stunning, beautiful, nice weather, very calm today. It's a nice beach for surf casting. Um, in summer, it's very shallow, but fish come in pretty close at the change of light. Um, we're facing straight out to sea here. The best fishing on Rabbit Island would be towards the left hand side, towards Mapua. Uh, there's the uh, Mapua Wharf and uh, the entrance to the estuary and uh, there's a bit of current running. It's a bit of a walk to get further down that end but uh, this will be the best area for fishing. Otherwise just pretty much anywhere along this beach and you would want to surf cast as far as you can or launch a kayak and paddle out a kilometer or so and drift around there with soft baits in summer for Snapper, Gurnard, and so on, all year round basically. Let's have a quick look what my fishing book says here. Rabbit Island, number three. Target species here, Snapper, Kawai, and Gurnard. Bait, Pilchard, Squid, and Skipjacks. Always the same here, Pilchard, Squid, and Skipjacks. I love fishing with soft baits, so I would probably use uh, some soft baits or for Kawai, some spinners or so on. Uh, for surf casting, I would maybe even use um, salted mussels and of course dawn and dusk is always a good time uh, for surf casting of beaches especially if you combine that with a major or minor time so if you have a major 
or a minor time at sunset or at sunrise then this is the best time to go fishing on a beach like this uh, fish come into the shadows when when there's change of light so when it starts getting dark or in the morning when it starts getting bright then that's when the fish will still be cruising or during the night. Another thing about this beach, according to my fishing spot book here, is there are uh, uh, pipi beds along this beach. So it would be good for collecting pipis for feed. But also if there are pipi beds, that means fish will come in close. It's our fishing spot, Rabbit Island. As you can see, beautiful. So we're ready and now we head off to the next fishing spot.